That's not worth shuffling these guys into power, is it? I think so. Okay, state firearm regiments. Land maintenance plus 15 to gain more, more army drill. We have minus 10% minus right now. We, we spend quite a bit on our army, so I don't think I really want to do that click. We have some money. We were going to upgrade centers of trade next. This is level 2. Get a level 1 here. That one's not mine. I can't upgrade it. One's at level 3. That one can be upgraded. That one's not mine. This can be upgraded. Any center up here? There is a center, but it's not owned by me. Alright. With six merchants, I, I do think that I just go straight for uh, a whole bunch of level three centers of trade now. We now border you. You are not monstrous, so I need to spy on you. And, uh... We're pretty close to having some elves. Yay! Elves are gonna be tight. Apparently it does count the caverns just by owning them, whether they're cored or not. I don't know if it counts these, though. Is these these are technically not a core at all. They're also kind of owned by us, kind of. It might count them as owned. I suppose I could test it by just pulling back one of my guys. Maybe we can get this mission turned in right now just by doing something like this. Yeah, in theory we could do it, but I want to hold this till we get to 57 dev in the cap. Let's just make sure we're protecting the right places. We got these two being protected. That one's still being protected. Not using a leader, but... It'll be okay. We're also using the Dwarvish Infantry for protection duty. And the Kobold Infantry for offensive stuff. For the most part. The all pike runners here. Unfortunately, four of my pike runners are stuck here. But... It's okay. The vast majority of our infantry are now... Oh, wait. No, we didn't get new infantry yet. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> These silly guys are stealing three of my ducats, and Myrmaw is also stealing some of my money. Let's fix that. Are you not transferring trade to me? You are. With only half of his trade power, he's somehow managing to steal like three ducats a month in income. That's not fair. I want the money. Trading in coppers, fine. It's tight. General Hospital, we don't need the Devotion. National Manpower seems fine. Isolations under attack, should be fine. We can refound a place. It is kind of interesting with all these options for refounding. Like, we could take a look at all the different national ideas that they all get, because I think they're all slightly different, right? But, eh. Probably not. Battle of Isolation sounds familiar to you. Almholder and Air Nativir are the best ones. Did we take a look at uh, Air Nativir yet? I remember we looked at this one. I think fake fake Khazad Doom we had first, and then I don't know. Minas Tirith holds specialization. 
As our hold progresses ever deeper into the earth, it has come to our attention that, like in the days of Owl Dwarav, a hold must specialize to witness its true potential. From now on, Minas Tirith must decide to focus on a certain... It must decide to focus on on... Ah, typo. Literally unplayable. To focus on a certain aspect based on what natural resource and opportunities the hold has available. Will it focus on the infrastructure of a foundry hold? Full of conveyors, tracks, and great forges to two outscale. Second typo. Negative 12 out of 10. Jesus. To two outscale any other metal production, perhaps intra infrastructure to maintain an even higher population, a metropolis. Houses stacked upon houses, carved upon the walls of the Dwarvar, where city and commercial businesses can flourish alike. Maybe a hold to focus on the finer arts. A hold beautifully crafted with elegant architecture to please and inspire our master artisans and crafters. Or might it even have the infrastructure to support vast vertical farms, so that our hold will be green with plant life to feed our people. Damn, man, whoever made this mod, whatever mod team did this, this is a great descriptive event. This is a great event. Perhaps the hold will lean towards military matters. I mean, aside from the typos, of course, which make it negative 12 out of 10, but... With large fortifications and massive roads. Yes. Metro Metropolis infrastructure. Uh, until the end of the game, giving goods produced plus 0.5. Local tax plus 20% and national tax plus 2. So this is for our capital. We are focused mostly on dip... And then about an equal split between Abin and Mill. Or Military, which gives local recruitment time minus 25, a small amount of professionalism, which for vanilla, like, ideas is actually rare. That's like having a quarter of your force limit always drilling. But we, we tend to hit 100% professionalism in every campaign anyway. I have to imagine that there are either more things after this, so maybe specialty things you can make if you have the military structure. But it's the primary capital. It, it's got to be a metropolis, right? Metropolis. Wee's bees metropolis now. So, last night, for fun, in addition to doing the centaur campaign, I tried playing as one of the... Uh, the, what are they called? The Remnants? Yeah. So I started playing as this guy. I think I already deleted the save. But I managed to get to a level 6 hold in 30 years. And... They're strong. Just so you know. Just thought I'd point that out. Why can you core your capital? Because we haven't cored our capital. Why would you core your capital? That's weird. It costs 161 admin points. Why would why would you why would you do that? Way better to have an uncored capital. But what will most likely end up happening is at some point, when we're finally not behind on admin tech and ideas and stuff, I'll just accidentally click core all and we will core the capital. But for now, there's just no point to spend the points on it. it doesn't give us anything. Please core the button. Coring it does nothing. It it does nothing. We already have territory plus 75, which is the same thing as a full core. Look at the income from a full core. Core plus 75. Territory plus 75. So you get full tax from a territorial core at 0% autonomy. If this weren't the capital, it would be at 90% autonomy. But because it's the capital, it's at zero. It's always at zero. Technically, though, there is a risk. If someone were to conquer our capital, we would lose core. This is territorial capital. <laughs> it's great. How'd you do that? We colonized the capital. When we first moved here, there was like a, an orc squatter and we seized his land as part of the peace deal. In fact, we might be able to see it in the timeline. So this orc was here and we were over here migrating. This is us. Migrate, migrate, migrate. So we were being an adventurer. We found that hold, decided not to settle there, decided to keep going down the tunnels. We found this this thing that connects these two. And uh, I'm being 
totally honest here, I, I had never played this, this mod before. I had no idea. We just... We did kind of naturally, luckily, find the, the actual former capital of the Dwarven peoples. And then we... We murdered the orcs. And then we, I think, migrated onto the capital or... Conquered the capital or something. I did a territorial core. Uh, and then you can move your capital to a territorial core. So our capital was, I think, here. We paid the 200 abbot points to move our capital here, and then it's just never made sense to finish the core. There's just no reason for it. Like, why do it? It's a big penalty to trade efficiency, but monarch points are better than money. Okay, is there anyone else that we can attack that's easy to beat that we can just get some stuff from? This guy. Maybe put down a few rebels before we do that. These would actually be Ruby Company Separatists. I think I'm gonna go provoke a rebellion. I wanna free up the army so that we can go fight the, uh, the centaurs. Okay, Diplo Rep Advisor makes it maybe reasonable to consider integrating one of the subjects. 30 dev and 35 dev. It's almost possible to do it at a reasonable speed if they liked me. 228 Diplo, 377. Okay, the Ruby Company are mad in Beginnick. Be Beginnick? Ver Kal Kalkanzad? If I provoke rebellion, I think if I click this and then provoke, it's it, they're still going to rebel in the highest development province, which should be over here. And if they siege that, then they're going to uh, cause some issues. I mean, the autonomy is going to stay at somewhere between 90 and 100% anyway. Better to just raise the autonomy in these three development hold uh, provinces and not worry about it. Garagar? Sure. Up you go. I don't care. Uh, this is an actual hold, though. I don't think I want to raise autonomy here. Then again, I'm not planning to full core it. Goblin migrants from the Mire Maw. Goblins are... Hey, this is the opposite. Okay, so we've been expelling our orcs. This is what it feels like to receive people. Goblins originating from Mire Maw have recently begun to settle in our province. Verkal Kolk... <laughs> That's, uh, this one. The one we just conquered. So they're leaving our subject and going here. Increasing the size of the local minority population. We can welcome them, add and increase goblin minority size. They can settle for a price. We lose some tolerance, but we gain 111 monies or get out of here. Uh, I think I don't want to lose the tolerance. Let's tolerate the crap out of these guys. We like them. They're nice. Now let's murder the natives. The Ruby dwarfs, because they're bad. Nice little trick here. Um, so the size of this rebellion is 11k. If we provoke, it's going to be 15k. But if you look at the size of the ruby guys, it's their size is based on number of provinces. Beginnick. So if we suppress that down to zero, it's one less province. They might actually end up being smaller in the provoked size as well. Could happen. No, not quite. That's fine. Siege from army battles goes up. Okay. Where are you mad? 
Kick, kick, Kimig? Where the hell's Kick Kimig? I don't know where that is. It's this one. Okay. So, um, how hard would this war be? He's got three allies, somebody that I haven't discovered. There's this guy. He's got 11k troops. And there's this guy. Got 11k troops. You have 39k on tech 9 to our tech 11. And we're quite likely to be able to control the fight very well. We can just make the war goal this thing. It's negative 2 terrain. Just park an army here, right? 22,000 troops on the cave. Cave dwarves. Ugh. Uh, let's upgrade a center of trade. This node is actually one of the most valuable nodes in the game. Wow. Why, though? No, no. Serpent's Reach, 25. It's, it's still worth a lot, but... Uh, 25 ducats here. Jesus. 14.4 local production? Avdaludhum? Where's Advald? It's this one. Mithril. Like all Mithril or something? Just that one Mithril province is 35 trade value? Jesus. Out of 14.4 local trade value, that one province is three of those ducats. This is 20% of the trade note here. Good lord. Let's see if we can steal some of it by running the trade power edict. We're steering toward us, right? Aratnavir is us? Yeah. 6.03. Maybe we can get a little bit extra. Yeah. 6.12. So much more money. We're rich. Remember, have you gotten any great general rulers? Uh, nope. Any great general Rulers? Like, a, is it a trait? I've seen, when I was playing as the Centaurs, I saw some, like, crazy, crazy commanders that had, like, 11 shock pips and 5 or 7 siege pips and stuff. And I was surprised because I thought that was a mage thing. I thought that was, aren't those battle mages? So I, I didn't know why Centaurs had it. Kind of made sense because they had, like, tons of shock. Maybe they were, like, scripted events, scripted generals for the Centaurs, but I don't know, just kind of unexpected. Okay, next idea. Interest per annum. Can you fill in one of these chasms again? He's still colonizing here. It's funny. Well, I can always fill in the endless chasm though, right? But there's something about, like, filling in the subterranean provinces that just appeals to me. I think I will do it. I don't know if I have enough infantry to police this area, though. We've gained some. another round of infantry and I guess for now this army can go here need to have like probably eight or nine troops there permanently and I'll stay at peace for a little bit longer I don't think we need to push into the elves just yet Nice. Check out that 20% discount. So when we get all the way to like 999 points, we're going to be able to take tech. 
a pretty good discount. Okay, am I going to form the new nation soon? As soon as we get the mission tree done. So we need to finish off economic ideas. And then we're going to dev push the capital to 57. It being at 57 is going to allow us to start digging. And then we got to see how long it's going to take for the next tier of dig. And then... Then maybe? Then maybe we're okay? We need a fort here. 90% autonomy. We lose half the half of the trade value, tra trade power in this node because of the high autonomy. This might be worth paying a core for. And I am upgrading this to level 3. Because it's going to project into a node that we care about. 1,000 ducats down the drain. Beautiful cavern profits. Lovely. And remember, don't make your ruler into a mage general because another thing Paradox broke Long lived races die early because of generals? They broke? Are you saying that it wasn't a thing in previous versions of the mod? Yeah, we have a 666 and he's only age 117. I've avoided making him into a ruler, or sorry, into a general, specifically because of stuff like that. National unrest, tolerance of the true faith. Uh, this is strictly better than tolerance, I think, for most most purposes. Morale or institution spread. We're usually dev pushing institutions, so it's either morale or negative five, uh, negative one unrest. We don't need institution spread. It's just it's such a natural thing as a dwarf to uh, wait until an institution spawns and then you just dig a bunch. It's because you want to dig deeper anyway. And then it naturally spawns the institution because of the kind of kind of ridiculous amount of institution spread you get for doing development in a 60-ish development province. So it's probably national unrest or morale of armies. I don't think we're at a point where like 5% more morale of armies is going to make us stack white people. So I think we'll just take the negative unrest. It also helps to free up some of our troops for other stuff. Hey, isolation's complete. This thing's complete. Okay, saving that, so we're at 57. Honestly, that might even be worth saving for the tier 6 dig. Maybe we do, we, we, we dev all the way to 70 ourselves, and then we save that mission for the 77 to 80 dev, dis, uh, dev thing. Might be good. Just got here, WTF is this mod. Uh, it's called Anbinar, it's, it's awesome. It's like playing, uh, EU4 Dwarf Fortress, you get to go diggy dig. It's wonderful. Military access? No. My land. Explore a cavern of interest. Costs 200 crowns now. Let's do it. I wonder what's in there. We actually don't have any rebels now. It's great. So, let's actually drill. Well, it's time to attack. I'm not using my only diplomat right now. Um, we could spy on this guy. Where, where do we want to claim next? This guy's new capital has 27 development. I have one claim here. I can't get a claim there. I could get a claim... No, it's part of the roads. We're going to get the free perma claims. There's no reason to fabricate on him. I already have a claim on you. I could get a claim on this province too. What is all this? Affected by the Crimson Deluge. Constanmark 1. Got a lot of stuff going on here. Mm. Crappy garbage dev. 
Got 17 dev on our border right here. I mean, we already have anti monstrous, so I can take it for free, but it would save me Abin points to have a claim on it. So I guess we'll do that for a while. Claim the original hold? Yes. Oh yeah, that's way better. The original hold. Glorious will Azra expedition be? Sure. Which is the original? Well, he, he says original. It's just the first one we found. We started here and we migrated in. There's also a hold out there. Like, technically, when you start the game as Azra expedition, I don't think you have to go through the tunnels. You could just start colonizing right there in the hold. But that seems like suicide, because you border a big, scary guy. Much better to go into the tunnels, where you're nice and safe. Marketplace is out here, just so that we project more trade power into the upstream nodes. Mm, probably not. Barracks, no. Courthouses, no. We do have the Mage Tower in the capital. We could save up and build Mage Towers in other holds, if we plan on doing manual individual development in them, which I don't think I am I'm going to do. Do a diggy dig? It's not time. Why would we diggy dig when we have three more admin ideas to finish off and then we get an extra minus 20% development cost? Goblin migrants from the company of Duran Blue Shield. Welcome. Jinishti. Jinishti Hall gains them. How many do we have right now? Oh, we don't have any goblin migrants. Sweet, come live here. A coexisting goblin minority. Local goods produce 0.05. It does increase state maintenance and adds unrest, but the unrest is irrelevant. If you have a goblin majority that's coexisting, I think you get other good stuff. Small decrease. It's better to have them, right? Has anyone done the math? Like... State maintenance, I don't think, is a good enough argument to justify not having 0.05 goods produced in local construction time minus 10. Oh, lazy colonist? Shit. Where was he? The construction time from ogres, kobolds, and goblins makes them all great for dwarven holds as minorities. When our miners made their way into the cavern, it seemed nondescript, but when one of them leaned against the wall, only to recoil at its frigid touch, that illusion was quickly dispelled. Every wall, every wall of the cave is adorned in mithril. Mithril is now produced in isolation. I wonder if this is like almost guaranteed to be a good outcome in this one location. This is like a really obscure little cavern. Gain one base manpower, three base tax, two base, uh, three base production, two base tax. Okay, if we're going to get this as free development, I'm going to... Oops, I don't know why I just did that. I'm going to full core it first before the dev goes up. Save us a few admin points in the long run. What are we naming it? Uh, I don't know. Isolation was the original name. Yeah, let's rename it. First person to rename it. I'm not going to redo a whole bunch of renames, but let's find... All right, we'll do a couple. Full Metal Jacket, the province with the highest military development. Um, that's tricky. Let's just assume that it's the new hold. It's got seven. That's the best that I can do. Because all of the other holds have been renamed already. 